Hey Church, hope you are well and glad you could join us, me, today for the devotion. Uh, this week's actually this month, we will be looking through the book of Jude and pulling out some treasures. If you um, were in church over the last couple of weeks, you'll have heard Pastor Glynn talk about reading the book of Jude and I would encourage you, like he has, to do that. Um, read through the chapter. It's only one chapter. Um, it's like a postcard from a leader that is encouraging, challenging and edifying us. And uh, in Jude, we, the church, or the early church, was wrestling with people trying to change beliefs of the church to suit themselves. Sounds familiar. We live in a world where our faith is under pressure to conform to the culture around us and to change with the times. There is nothing, that is nothing new. Jude writes a short, sharp letter to the church, both warning and urging the people to fight for the truth. Jude 1 verse 3 says this, Dear friends, although I was very eager to write to you about the salvation we share, I felt compelled to to write and urge you to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to God's holy people. Jude asked the church to contend. We are asked to contend, fight for and stop intruders changing or taking away that which has been entrusted to them, which has been entrusted to us. How do we contend for our faith? How do we not get sidetracked from the truth or lose our way? We have, we have to be people of the word, a people that knows his word, sticks to his word, a people of personal and progressive revelation. When the Bible is put in the hands of people, it changes their lives, transforms societies, ushers in the kingdom of God. In 2024, the Bible is banned, illegal or severely uh, restricted in 52 countries. That's over 25% of countries across the world. This is why the message of Jude is so vital to us today. Jude 17 to 19 says, but dear Friends, remember what the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ foretold. They said to you, in the last days, there will be scoffers who will follow their own ungodly desires. These people, these are the people who divide you, who follow mere natural instincts and do not have the spirit. We believe biblical truths and that the Bible itself is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The problem is that the inspired word of God has replaced by your truth, their truth, my truth, and that this is what brings freedom. That's not true. Today, unassailable truths are, are under attack because people should have their own personal freedom to believe what they want, feel, or personally think, except the Bible teaches us. It's the truth that sets you free. It's God's word, his truth, that sets you free and keeps people free. Make a decision today to be a person of his word knowing his word and sticking to his word. Love you, friends. Have a great day and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Be blessed.